But the problem was that the wireless microphone we had something happened so technical problem you know these things happen for <laughs> musicians you know you talk to my people i am your people talk to my people i couldn't talk to his manager because <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't talk to his manager so anyway so um that's isaac his uh, his uh, business name is ada so it's known as Ada on YouTube. So anybody who wants to subscribe or yeah, um, YouTube, SoundCloud, hit it all up. But some, I have to warn you, it's adult only because he's heavy, heavy rapper. You know, it's a heavy rapper. You know, so he raps heavily. You know. So anyway, so we forget about that. So anyway, for coming here, it's a pleasure to, to, to be here. You will notice on the invitation, we put Andres Street Park. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be sent off, but I'm sending that back home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Um, this, uh, this, uh, when I say anniversary party, what I mean is everything put together. Because before my wife here, Edna, came to Australia, came to meet me, um, like some people would have known the history. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not a playboy, uh, but uh, I, try my, I do my best. Like Moses always say, he said, they send us to this country to take care of the girls. But that's <laughs> Okay, so the second person I want to introduce to you actually, before I forget, is Moses. That's Moses here. If anyone does not know him, um, Moses is my, you know, my, uh, how do I put it? <laughs> It's my, you know, you know, when your mom plays around and I met another man and you don't know me, you know, <laughs> that's how I know. That's yeah. my brother. It's my younger brother. He might look bigger than me or whatever, but it's my younger brother. It's my baby brother. Okay, but uh, I'm proud of him um, for what he's achieved since he's been here. I, well, he wouldn't mind if I said I brought him here because anyone who knew him has already told them that I brought him here. Okay. <laughs> um, we run, we run very strict and tight. But, you know, strict and tight, um, you know, regime. You know, I know what? It's a serious case for me. When people tell me, don't worry, don't worry, like, it upsets me, it agitates me. I, I feel like, ah, like that. So, but, you know, I worry about everything, you know? Everything is important to me. I don't take life for granted. As I'm here, with, I've been in this country for 36 years, for 35 years. I don't look like that. Because some of you might be saying, why are you not in a retirement home? Why are you marrying some young girl? It's to keep me young. Keep me young so I can have things to chase all the time. Okay, so now, so what is happening is, um, the reason we're here is I'm just thankful because this time last year, my business was like that. But everybody, some people thought probably I'm going down, but I was going up because nothing stops me. Like I've told my wife and my son, I said, when I die, as I'm talking, if I drop, I don't, have, I don't have any medical problem to be, you know, but I'm, uh, I'm lucky. Probably it's my genes, you know, it's jungle food. We eat <laughs> I've told my wife and my son, I said, if I die, the song they should sing for me, you know, when they, they don't go and burn me or whatever. Don't make sure you put all the bling, bling, bling on me. But that's, it's just because I'm the cook and everything tonight. All right? So the song I want is, I, I did it my way. I've always done whatever I want to do. I'm a very, very tough man. I go doing whatever I want to do. Nothing stops me. Nothing. You see? So that's how. So when he came, the first advice I gave him is this country is good, but the country is not going to be good to you. They say heaven helps those who help themselves. You don't sit down whinging about foreigner or, or that or that. Do something. Get going. I'm, I'm sure there's some people here who are motivated, you know, like, uh, you know, so they, they motivate, you know, they give motivational talks and things like that. But I don't, I don't go to, you know, like, I'm not. I don't, I'm not trying to motivate anybody. I'm just saying the way I live is, you know, not tunnel vision. I'm very open-minded, adapt to change. So two years ago, things were going bad, but I was still living. Some people say probably I was broke, but then I got married by that time, and I still had wedding here. 
No, because we couldn't afford to have the wedding, but I wanted my way. This is my way. To, to set up like this, nothing is hard. This is what I use. This is how I've always been living. See, so um, so I wanted to do it my way, and no other way. I don't care. You see, so um, so this time last year was very tough. So two uh, uh, two years ago when she came, and uh, today. So anyway, we moved on. You know, it was hard. Like you know, uh, whoever married to Filipina, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about Filipina. <laughs> You see, I am so, you know. They can't wait to get here, but they can't wait to go back. Their body is here, and their heart is somewhere else. So I say, well, if you want to be here, be here, your whole body. I'm not looking for just body and mind here, okay? So, but everything, it has not been easy. Yes, it has not been easy. I know some people told you that uh, it's too hard living alone. I say, hey, if you leave, you are the one that miss out. <laughs> you miss out. You know, you are the one that miss out because because I will always make sure I support you, I guide you like the same way my brother when he came here, I pushed him. I pushed him and pushed him and pushed him. Today he realized he used to tell me I can't I was I didn't get it. I wasn't getting getting it. So so I said, you're not getting it. I said, I will use hammer and whack your head. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, uh, I'm so, you know, so we've always been like that. So I'm proud of what Moses is doing, everybody is doing, my son is doing. And today, I've motivated this, this little lady, now it's a woman. So, um, you know, so anyway, so her birthday last year, 30th birthday. She doesn't look 30, is it? All these people are 16. 16. 16. <laughs> Till when a police officer decided to arrest me. You don't have to take that age. Okay, well, okay. You know what you do to blacks. You know, they, they are not going to be committing crime. Then you marry, you be dealing with underage. That's criminal offense. Anyway, so, so, we, you know, so everything is the top. From then on, I went to do a different thing totally. And things have changed since then. Nothing, you know, I'm the one, I was the one that changed those situations. You see, not that I sat down there and praying for God. Yes, I always ask people who are very religious, do you have a God phone number? Because I want to ring my God, my, you know, you know, <laughs> open line. You know, I can ring him anytime to talk to him. I want more of this, I want more of this, I want more rice, I want more goat meat. Eh? No. So um, so since then things have been very so that's why I say it's anniversary party. We're doing all the party together, like birthday party, our wedding anniversary, two two years and uh, Wednesday. Okay? Now we've been very lucky. Because if only you know how many times I've told this lady to pack up and go. When she pissed me off, I said, Well you can leave my country. <laughs> you can leave my country. So now it's becoming a joke on me. She said, well, I'm becoming Australian very soon. It's a bad luck for you. <laughs> <laughs> the joke is on me now. So I said, well, we've got enough space here. I've got a big shed there. I said, well, I'm glad you can sleep there sometime. And she said, no, bad luck. She said, if you push me out, I will report you as domestic violence. <laughs> so anyway, so it's become a joke, you know, for a long time now. I'm glad to, that you're still here. I know I'm someone that my mom always told me, she said, if you have pain, that's me. She said, you always want to get rid of it. In another word, if I have pain here, since when I was young, she said, you want to cut the pain, you want to cut the whole thing off. She said, no, 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 you should treat it. Wait for a while and you will be my heel. So if you cut this, tomorrow this one hurts, then you cut it again. By the time you know you cut everything. She says, so be patient. So patience is what I pray for every day. I pray for patience because I'm very, very impatient. But guess the job I do now, you got to be very patient. So that is help me a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tyron, that's, that's my boss. You can sit down anyway. That's Mr. Tyrone. That's right. Sit down anyway. Um, so what I do now is I need to have plenty of patience. So that is made me a different person totally. 
when I'm worrying about things, I'm thinking stupid. What are you worrying about? You came from, you know, from Africa. You came from, no, we, we don't, we're not struggling. You know? We don't struggle here. No, 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 no. Okay? So, but then, I appreciate here. I do appreciate. So anybody who is here, who come here to stay, whatever, if you don't appreciate it, hey, see you later. All right? <laughs> so please appreciate my country. My country is a very good place. I know. Don't forget your country. Where uh, country of origin, you know. But here, if you want to stay here, stay here wholeheartedly. Okay. So let's respect the place. Let's look after it. You know. Don't join Polly Hansen, uh, whatever. Okay. So anyway, so the first thing is, if you want to go to the toilet, the toilet there, nobody should piss on the bush because <laughs> they're not, they're not uh, in the jungle. Unless the Africans. Okay. <laughs> so, because it might poison the grass. Okay, if you want any drink, oh anybody looking God. for a job, not the young people, you can do waitressing job for us, self serve. Okay, you can do, you know, see, everything is set up for people to enjoy themselves and just have a good time. Now, the food tonight, yeah, oh, I know. See, I told you, you know, then roll down. You see that? So, anyway, tonight, the menu tonight, I always announce my menu. See, Australia is multicultural. Okay. Multicultural. It means you have white, you have black, you have yellow. <laughs> she looks white. Okay. You like, you know? So anyway, the food comes like that. I make everything. I don't just do jungle food. I do Asian dishes. I do uh, African dishes. I do vegetarian dishes. I do everything. Okay? So when you come here Some tonight, dish. just enjoy yourself. Get the food. You can have seconds if you like. When you get the first one, if you're not sure, go for second. By the time you go for third, you'll be charged. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> it's bistro, okay? Uh, okay, so, uh, no, I'm just joking. Just eat, whatever. The DJ is going to be spinning music later. Later, it's going to be some dancing, some, you know? It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but you don't have to dance. If you don't want to dance, just now, now, I have to tell you, I practice responsible self of alcohol. In another word, everybody, as you've come in here, you've already signed a waiver that if I get drunk, if I have an accident, I can't sue you. I'm in Nigeria. If you want to sue me, I say I'm broke. I'll, I'll just sign everything to my wife's name. All right. So please enjoy yourself. <laughs> Nobody ever gets seriously drunk here because all this there's always plenty of food to eat. So just enjoy yourself. Now, on the agenda is eat, eat. In Nigeria they say menu, menu, menu. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember when I was at school, you know. So it's like introduction, then menu, menu, menu. Dance, dance, dance. You see? So I went one step ahead when I was in Nigeria. Because the problem was, when you get the introduction, you see, that's when I was at school, the girls, listen, which school did you go? If you went to nice school, they mark you, yeah, that guy is a good catch. You know? <laughs> so when menu, menu comes, everybody rush to be eating, Israel start working, getting, you know, getting introduction, you know? I don't worry about the food because I eat at home. So I'm one step about. <laughs> so you got it now? So. So you can imagine, if someone grew up like that, like me, you have to know that uh, it's, a bad, it's a bad news. All right? So then, so we're going to eat now. Now, anybody who has special requests, let's say you don't eat, uh, you don't have sugar, you don't have salt, you don't have whatever, start going now. What do you want to say? Anyway, what's anyway? Okay, come, let me okay, put everything in. Now, turn around. I want to.